welcome back to another video so we're going to get my left hand done today I will do my right hand off camera so this is something I've had a request a few times from subscribers actually to do to do what I'm going to do today so I'm going to be using full cover tips like this but we're going to be popping them off um, and when you're doing this method you're best to have quite thick cheap plastic tips that are not etched inside these are just cheap plastic tips and i'm going to be using the venalisa hard jelly gel um and this doesn't self level again you want to use something that's quite thick something that's not runny you don't want to use any builders that are runny um or else it won't work but i'll talk you through what i'm doing anyway so i'm just cleaning my nails with some prep and wipe or you could use alcohol Make sure your nails are nice and clean. I've already got rid of all the dead skin and done most of the prep work, so I'm just going to get straight into it. So I'm just buffing off all that shiny surface of my natural nail. Don't buff too hard. Just get them all chalky and scratched up. And then again, I'm going to give them another clean. Get rid of all that dust. So I'm using Venalisa Dehydrator. I really didn't need to use this because I've just used quite a lot of alcohol cleaning my nails. But I've gone in with dehydrator anyway and I'm using Venalisa Acid Free Primer. So this method, um, the reason you don't want to use anything that's too runny because the nail tips, you're putting the product on the inside of these tips. And I have done it once with a, a builder gel that was quite runny and the, the gel just runs into the middle you need something that's quite thick and it's going to stay where you put it something that doesn't really self level so it stays in that tip where you put it so i've gave my nails a quick base coat um so again these tips are not etched inside they're quite thick tips cheap tips these are the best ones you want to use really so i'm just i don't want these nails too long so i'm just going to fill that nail tip up as long as I want my nails to be and I'm going to keep it quite thin at the cuticle area um, and quite yeah you just want to fill that tip up you want to think if you was building a set of nails using this product how thick you would want that nail because I'm going to be popping these tips off so you're going to need enough products left behind to, to, to build your nail you're going to need that strength structure apex so just bear that in mind you're going to be popping the tips off Try and keep it thin at the cuticle area and make sure you've got it right up the sides of that tip. This is why you can't use anything that's too runny. I had an air bubble there so I had to pull it out and put some more in. Yeah, if you use a gel that's too runny, it's just going to drip into the middle of that tip because it acts like a basin, doesn't it? You need something that's going to stay up the sides where you put it. So when you press, put this on your nail, don't press it on, just place it on. Just let it rest on your nail get it exactly where it needs to be and just let it rest there for a second or two to level out and fully attach to your nail and once you're happy with it stick it in the lamp 60 seconds and what i do is what uh, as soon as it comes out the lamp pop it off whilst it's still a bit warm just get a cuticle scraper and just get it up the side of that tip look and it pops off so easy it is a lot easier to do while the tip is still warm. Look at that. <laughs> so, so easy. So I'll quickly show you doing another one or two. Um, again, fill that tip up. Keep it thin at the cuticle and make sure you get that product right up the sides of that tip. I did this once with a runny gel and when I popped the tips off, the, the nails were so thin because the gel had had come away from those sides so yeah I think this only works with a thick product so you can put it up the sides of that tip and keep it there uh, so yeah I'll just let you watch for a sec
So now I've finished faffing with that, getting it exactly where I want it. Again, I'm just going to place it gently onto my nail. Try not to press down because it will squidge out. Leave it for a second or two just to level out and fully attach to your nail. And then stick it in the lamp for 60 seconds. <laughs> and again, get up the side of that tip. Just find a little bit where you can get that scrape under it and it will pop off very easy. Look at that. <laughs> so easy i don't know why i've not done this more often i think i did it once last year and you just end up with a, a full hard gel nail perfect shape without having to sculpt them look at that <laughs> so quick and easy So I've done those last two, oh my thumb, I've done that last one off camera. I'm just wiping all the tacky layer off now. I'm just going to give them a little file. There's really not much filing to do. So I'm just going to file the tip, get them all the same length. And then around the sides and the cuticle area is where you get a little bit of a lip where the edge of the tip was. So I'm just going to go around the sides and the cuticle area. Just get rid of that little lip and that's it. That's all the shaping you need to do. It really is easy. So now I've done all my filing, I'm just using a buffer and I'm just buffing off all the shiny surface to these nail tips. Buffing all the shiny surface off and just buffing out some of them harsher scratches that I've done using the file. And then I wasn't going to decorate these in this video, but I thought I'll stick something just quick and easy on them. So they've all been buffed off now. Another little clean, get rid of all that dust. Look at them. How cool do they look? <laughs> So, just going to do a really quick, easy design. I did these on day before New Year's Eve, so that's why it's a Happy New Year set. So, I'm just giving my nails a quick base coat, um, and I'm literally just going to use two colours, some a couple of stickers and a glitter. So, I'm going to stick that in the lamp for 30 seconds. I'm going to use some of my Madame Glam colours. So, I've pulled out a grey, nice light grey, that is called Grey Skies. And I've pulled out a nice light baby pink and that is called the boardwalk. I think light pinks and greys look so nice together, don't they? So I'm going to be sticking the grey on this middle finger and I do end up sticking it on the pinky as well. And all the other nails are going to be pink. I'll just show you doing one coat. I'll do the second coat off camera. So just a really nice thin even coat. Don't worry about your first layer looking, looking streaky. Um... I did have actually a couple of air bubbles in in this builder gel. I should 
I've filled them in, but I was being a bit lazy and I didn't. But I think the gel covered them anyway. <laughs> So I'm just going to get some stickers stuck on these nails now, so I'm going to stick this one on the middle nail. I've got a little penguin to go on the ring finger and some little snowflakey type stickers. So when you stick your stickers on, use a silicone tool or your finger or something, make sure all them edges are stuck down because you don't want your top coat to go under them stickers. Uh, yeah, I'll just let you watch for a second guys. So that's all my stickers put on, I'm just going to use Madame Glam's white gel paint and just do some little snowdrops. Just, yeah, just little snowdrops. I'm going to stick them in the lamp for 60 seconds. And then I decided on the pinky to use this, this is just white, fine iridescent from Charlie's Nail Art. So a quick coat of base coat and I'm just going to sugar that glitter, sprinkle it straight into that wet base coat, stick that in the lamp, and then we can get these top coated and finished. So there we go guys, how quick and easy were they? It's not really about the design today, it was more just showing you that technique of popping the tips off. Look at the shape, they're a nice thickness, they've got a nice apex. I think they turned out perfect, didn't they? I like the length. Yeah, I really, really like them. Anyway guys, that is it for today. Happy New Year. Um, please remember to give the video a thumbs up, subscribe if you're not already. And hopefully, I'll see you in my next one. Take care, bye.